Hello everybody, my name is uh, Joe Guy, and welcome back to Dark Souls. It's been a while, it's true, it has been a while. I had some problems installing this game on my new computer because it kept crashing and I didn't know why. Uh, I think I fixed it now, now I've got this running in 1080p, which is awesome. Uh, the grass looks different because <laughs> I've enabled something called SSOA. I'd be lying if I told you that I knew what that stood for, but I know it has something to do with the ambient occlusion. And it just makes everything look a bit, I think it makes this look really, really nice. And also at the bottom left there, you notice my HUD has changed. I no longer have that annoying D-pad looking number at the bottom left of my screen. It's just one for miracles and one for potions. And you can just, you know, you can tell what you've got equipped on yourself just by going back and forth like that. So that's my bow and my shield and my pyromancy flame and my sword. My good old sword, the Eito. So these are changes are all part of a mod called DS Fix, which I was running before on sort of its most basic level, you know, just um, setting stuff, stuff like the resolution and such, but it also does like a HUD mod for bottom left and it can help with this SSOA stuff and it just provides a bunch of ways to make this game run better on PC, it's a must if you're going to play on this, play this game on PC, I should say, made by a guy called Durante. A modder called Durante, so yeah, look it up, it's very easy to find. But anyway, today, uh, well, first and foremost, I need to find a bonfire, and second of all, we're going to go on to Sen's Fortress. I don't see any reason to delay that, uh, I don't think there's anything else in particular I want to explore, or anything else that would have cropped up since then. That is true, actually, I thought I saw something there. Just very quick aside, very quick aside. But I need to find a bonfire, because I need to get some stuff at the bottom of this box, and I need to, um... I'd say hi to this guy with my sword. We get to see how a guy dude, a guy died. Sorry, a dude died. Oh dear, oh dear, oh everything bad's happening to him. Yeah, too much. Woo. Ooh, chicken, huh? Can I block that? I'm just gonna run right past the fire thing. Get past this guy, and then make the jump over. I should probably check. Oh, oh dear. Okay. <laughs> That's fine, I don't want to be human anyway. <laughs> or those 20,000 souls. Okay, i got to be careful. Man, I could lose those 20,000 souls on a whim. On just, just being freaking... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This makes things a lot more complicated. <laughs> okay, not the best start to the session. I'm not going to make you guys have to sit through getting back to all the way to bloody filing shrine again. I'm gonna do this myself back with you in a more can't believe I have to make a cut already, god damn. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I cannot believe I cannot believe I just did that. I was so close. God damn. Do I have to... <laughs> Do I have to go a bloody walking pace to prevent my own stupidity here? Oh my god. My heart and 20,000 souls almost both just went poof. Phew. Okay. <laughs> here I am back in Frowling Shrine. Oh... <sighs> believe I almost did with that guy. Well, I was laughing at that guy doing before. <laughs> okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, but that is honestly the biggest scare I've got in a game for a long time. Even on my way up to Blake Town, I clocked it on myself. I thought, I bet I... Well, I said... I bet I was going to do what that stupid guy did when he just walked down without pulling the lever for the elevator shaft. And then I thought, no, I definitely won't do it now because I've thought of it. Thank God. There is a dude over there. And then I, just in the process, I forgot again. Why? Let's do this the proper way. No, 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 let's not do this the proper way at all, Luke. I don't want to die again. I'm just gonna take the extremely safe route through the Undead Parish, back up to um, the, uh, sorry, the Undead Church, sorry, and then going to the Undead Parish. I believe that's the distinction between the places. Hey, buddy. Are things? Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes. Uh, yeah, I got nothing new to say. And nothing that I want to buy either. That's fine. All the best. He's a bit glum. 
So yes, today, Two Sounds Fortress, um, in, and we learnt the fate of the undead last session, didn't we? We learnt that we are destined to succeed Lord Gwyn. Ew, here we go. Um, as the Lord of Sunlight, and I guess as the Lord of Sunlight, we can bring fire back to the world. We can bring life back to this land. Not this land, but the entire world, probably. Hmm. I'm good with that. Probably going to be dangerous. And to that end, we need to go to Anar Londo, uh, the Kingdom of the Lords. I think that's what it is. Oh, yeah, go on about you guys. Must not get cocky now. Hello. Uh, Just getting back into the swing of it. I will say, having to go down to Blight Town, the advantage of that was having a bit of a warm up again. Great, great, great. Phew. Uh, what the hell else was, uh, yeah. So we need to, in order to get to Anor Londo, we need to go through Sans Fortress, a deadly house of traps. I guess it's a test. Test of our own endurance. And skill. Etc, etc, etc. Lovely. Thank God I made it, you're alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, not reinforced weapon, I want to repair my stuff first. Once again does not deteriorate nearly as fast as I think it does, but first of all, let's access the bottomless box because... I think I want to get my Elite Knight leggings out. Again, that's 3.7. I think I might be able to do that. Just get out of there. Get out of there. There we go. I'd rather get the set going again, Ken. Ken. <laughs> do you know? I think, though, that's... Yeah, that's pushing me over the edge, unfortunately. Alright, well, we'll go for the warrior manchette. Significantly less armor, but still. And the other thing are the shadow gauntlets. But honestly, I don't particularly like the look of them. And, you know, they do a ton of stuff worse. Bleed and poison resist is one thing, but, uh. Yeah, we'll go for that, we'll go for that. Alrighty. Uh, well, I think we can take the old witch's ring off as well. What do I want to do here? Poise. Ah, that was the one. Lovely. Right. I have 20,000. I can buy a level and something else. Is there anything in particular that I want to buy? Well... Mmm... Hang on, hold on, hang on. Let me just put my current stuff... Uh, my current armor... In here. I want to put that in. And... Also that, and also that, and... No, I'm worrying that. <laughs> and I think that's about it. There we go. I'm kind of annoyed that I can't use Fire Lake Shrine anymore, you know. That was handy. I love the way the HUD skilled down. It just makes this game... You can just see this game a lot better. Enemy ahead. Are you sure about that? Oh. Well, hello again. Oop. You seem to be doing all right. <laughs> Need anything forged? Let me position myself correctly for this conversation. What can you do for me again? Uh, divine... You can't make it into a raw one, because I need a large tiny shark. Um, you can reverse it, but why would I want you to do that? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, I can't reinforce that either, I need the large. And you still don't sell the large. How about the armor? A tiny shark to do that, and I think I actually may want to pump this up just a little bit. Hmm, makes sense. Let's do that just a little. Ooh, that's expensive. Reinforce armor. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's nice. It gives me a nice, decent level of armor stuff. Repair that. Repair that. And what do you sell? Uh, just a bunch of this stuff I don't really care about. You know, there are several sort of cool characters you could go as when you play as Dark Souls. Uh, somebody with a pike, somebody with a cestus, which is like an unarmed thing, I think. Yeah, one bears hands with thick studded leather, which is a really cool way to to do combat. That's why a lot of people have multiple items in Dark Souls when they go through. I know little of the dark. Nope. Thank you. Go get yourself. Bye bye. <laughs> Your friendliness is appreciated but uh, repetitive. Ba -do -ba -boo. I guess there's nothing much else to spend this on except for souls and I do want to spend as much as I can because Sense Fortress is bloody dangerous. 
In terms of damage, I'm actually doing okay. I think I want to crank this up a bit more. My endurance level. More stamina. Hmm. But is there anything else I want to do? Faith. Uh, that's doing okay for now. Attunement. 14. Three slots. Uh, again, it does me for now. Hey, did I pick up that? I did. No, did I? Did I? Oh, I did. Yes, good. <laughs> Great Chaos Fireball. Actually a very useful spell. Um, maybe it's worth spending these two to upgrade that, because you see it uses two pyromancy slots instead of one, which means that I can have, you know, in terms of my wood, I can have these two, Combustion and Fireball, both of which are useful in their own right, or Great Chaos Fireball just on its own, which only has four uses. It engulfed the Witch of Isleth and her daughters. <laughs> and I guess that's how they became the monsters that they were. It's kind of a sad story, but... You know, one of them did try to kill me, and the other one probably didn't. Only well, didn't try to kill me because you know she didn't really know I was there. Uh, is a tune? Well, first of all, okay, let's get the full idea of what we're doing here. I need to go to here, because I have a ton of souls to spend. So, large soul named a soldier here. Uh, soul per night, and large soul per night. You can consume that soul of Quilai, but uh, we're not going to. Use it up. A thousand souls for this one. Lovely. All very lovely. One thing I don't like about this new interface is that it doesn't tell me the names of the things as I use them, you know. I mean, I know it's, some, it's mostly obvious from their icons, but it's not always obvious. Thank god I've already decided to use these up. Okay, I think I can get two levels out of that, but only just, which is good actually. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I saw the name of soldiers, well, I might as well use that. I think. Which is just. It may just land me with excess souls I don't want. Bolster it. Okay. Well, for a place for traps, Prism Stone might come in handy. A lowering skill, probably not actually. Throwing knife, firebomb. Just in case, although with fireball at my disposal, God knows how useful useful that will be. I've got the black eye orb, even though I'm not human. I don't have any humanity either. I don't want to use one up. I don't think I need to at the moment. And yeah, we see over there. It's open now. Made the onion knight happy, I guess. Right. Let's see. What the hell was I doing again? Oh yeah, leveling up. Oh hi there. Whoa. Ooh, I recognize that sword. That guy looks a bit like me in my first playthrough, Dark Souls playthrough. My first time playing Dark Souls. Like I said, I never actually completed Dark Souls, but we're we're still a, a fair ways off my blind territory. So I could do that, you know? I actually think I might. Might as well nip this in the bud right now. Get that instead of Fireball. Excellent day. Or I could, you know, in the future I could get another miracle or something. Um, so you... I just removed that, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I can go force and seek guidance and such like that. You know, seek guidance, actually. Okay. I'm actually going to use this not as I intended. Let's do that. Alright, so I've got two miracles. Uh, do I even have my talisman equipped? I'm not. So I wonder how, it la how long it lasts for. And how it works. So it's that. And then use it. This makes more messages turn up. None yet, though. Like I say, Dark Souls is not as popular as it once was. But you never know. It could come in handy for a place like Sen's Fortress with its with its many, many traps. Um, and I'll show off the Great Chaos Fireball another time. Okay. Huh. You can see this particle effect all around me. It's a bit weird. <laughs> Okay, let's go on with a thousand souls and not a fuck to give.